There's one more topic I'd like to cover here in Unit 2, and it's an alternate way of thinking about how to measure the space time coordinates of an event. This is a method called the radar uh, method, and um, it'll be useful in later units and also gives us a chance to practice using space time diagrams um, as a tool to think through different events. All right, so here's the idea. Suppose there's some event in space time, maybe Beowulf collapses pause or something, and we want to know what are the space-time coordinates of that event. What's the position and what's the time at which that occurs in a particular reference frame. So previously we imagined a coordinate system, a grid, that we can measure the spatial position and then somehow embedded in that coordinate system were many different clocks and when the event occurred we would look for the clock that was right next to that event and use that to measure that event's time. So here's another way to think about measuring events, um, or coordinates of events, with only using one clock. So here's the idea. Suppose from this one master clock, usually we'll imagine this at the origin, at x equals zero, we send out a light flash. And that light flash um, heads over and then is gonna bounce off of Beowulf and is then going to bounce back to the clock. So we've got a clock, we can say at a certain time the light flash goes out, bounces off something, and it comes back. And we can use this information to infer the event associated with that light bouncing off of that object. Because, and we can do that because we know the speed of light. The speed of light is the speed of light, light travels at the speed of light, and we, so we can use that information to infer the space-time coordinate of, the, of that event. So let's see what this looks like on a space-time diagram. So let's look at the radar method for determining the space-time coordinates of an event. So I'm going to imagine that we have an event here. So let's imagine the following. So the picture here is we have just one clock, not a clock at every point in space, but one clock hanging out at the origin. And we can use that to read times in this particular, particular location. So what we could do, suppose that we had um, sent a light flash out here and out to the right. And so that's going to go like this. So in one second of time, the flash travels one second of space. Light travels at the speed of light one second per second. Um, it bounces off something that's here, and then it travels back, still at the speed of light, just in a different direction, still traveling one second in one second, and it ends up here. And I'm going to call this initial time TA. So that's the time when we send the uh, light flash out. And then TB will be when it returns to us. And so I guess the picture here is that we're just here at the origin. We don't get to directly see this. We just notice that, hey, here at home in our origin, we send out a light flash, and then a little while later that light flash comes back. It's like, aha, I wonder what it must have hit off. Well, I can figure out the space-time coordinates of that um, uh, reflection event just from this information. So the time at which this occurred, well, that's going to be halfway between TA and TB. Um, so in this case, let's see, this is 1 and that's 7. Halfway between is 4. So the time coordinate of event E is 4 seconds. So let me, let me write that. I guess I will write that over here. So TE, that means the time of this event, is the halfway point. It's just the average of these two. Then we would also want to know, well, what about the um, x-coordinate? What would, what would that value be? Well, the x-coordinate is um, going to be, 
let's see how to think about that. So I want to figure out um, this length and then take half of it. Okay, so here I'm taking the average of this to find the midpoint between my two fingers. Here I just want to know how far is it to halfway and then that's going to be that amount in the x direction. So let me write that out. So x e is going to be one half tb minus ta. So let's let's um, let's plug in numbers for this, and you, you'll see how this works. So let's see. Um, Maybe I'll do this over here. So TA is one second. TB is seven seconds. So let's plug those into this formula. First, let's do TE. TE is a half of one second plus seven seconds. One plus seven is eight. A half of eight is four seconds. Oh, and look, that is indeed the time coordinate for event E. Now let's figure out the X coordinate. The X coordinate for space time event E is a half TB, which is seven minus one. Seven minus one is six. A half of six is three. So this is three seconds, and indeed that is the space-time coordinate for that. So the space-time coordinate for E is three seconds, four seconds. So again, we could read that directly off this graph, but in a situation in which we couldn't see this directly, we could infer the um, space-time coordinates of event E just by using a clock that is located at the origin. So that's the radar method.